Yet another sign on my classroom door is this one. Better late than never, which most people have heard, but better never late. So it got to the point where whenever someone came in late, I would say better late than never, and they learned to say, but better never late. It's better to make fun of it as opposed to making someone feel bad or punishing them. All right, today we're gonna to talk about cards, a standard deck of cards, which is what they use in, for example, poker, bridge, and other games, consists of 52 cards made up of four suits. It's amazing to me how many young people nowadays do not know about a standard deck of cards. A standard deck of cards has the four suits, clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades, and each suit has an ace, Numbers 2 to 10, a jack, a queen, and a king. These are called face cards. So if I show you the standard deck, ace, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, jack, queen, king. And you can see the different suits there. Most people, I'm surprised to say, are not familiar with these cards if they're under, let's say, I don't know, 25 years of age. So let's calculate theoretically, the probability of getting a 7. Well, there's 52 cards. That's always going to be our denominator. There's a 7 in each suit, so there's four 7s. But that can be reduced because 4 goes into 52 13 times. So that the probability of getting a 7 is 1 out of 13. doesn't mean it's going to happen 1 out of every 13 times you do it. But in theory... It'll, it should be, and it'll average out, and if you do it enough times, you'll likely average out experimentally to that fraction. Now, we don't tend to change these fractions to decimals or percents because they're, they're crazy decimals and percents. What's the probability of not getting a 7? Well, remember in the last video, we said that would be 1 minus the probability of getting a 7. So that would be 12 out of 13. You're much more likely not to get a 7, of course, than you are to get a 7. Okay, what about the probability of getting an even number? Well, these are the numbers, so the even ones are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, that's 5. 4 suits, so 5 times 4 is 20. So 20 out of 52. If you divide that by 4, you get 5 out of 13. That's how often you would expect to get an even number. And so the probability of not getting an even number getting anything else is 1 minus 5 out of over 13, which is 8 out of 13. The probability of getting a red face card, well, there's two red suits. There's three face cards in each suit. So that's 6 out of 52. Divide by, in this case, 3, so you get 2 out of um, 52 divided by 3. What's that? 14? <laughs> no, no. Oh. Um, uh, sorry. 10. Four. Okay, not 3. 3 doesn't go into 52. What am I saying? Um, just divide by 2. 3 out of 26. Duh. And then the probability of not getting a red face card is 1 minus 3 out of 26, which is 23 out of 26. Okay. Except for that little glitch there. That's a good example of uh, standard cards. See you next time.